Hello! I wanted to make a quick video on how to utilize an oscilloscope to check to see if your antenna system is in fact balanced and if your antenna tuner is also balanced. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we have is a Tektronix 2213 oscilloscope, uh, two oscilloscope probes, and we're going to connect these to one side of the transmission line initially to establish uh, b that both channels are calibrated identically. So before we do that, we have the oscilloscope volt per division knobs to cal, and we're going to be looking at both channels. We're going to be triggering off uh, the internal channel one source. Coupling switches are set to AC. So let's first uh, take a look and see how I have these hooked up and then we'll put out a, uh, a carrier and we'll see what it looks like. Okay this is the jig in back of the antenna tuner. Uh, I have both scope probes attached to one side of the transmission line against ground and we'll go ahead and uh, see what that signal looks like, make sure both channels are exact. Okay, with the carrier being generated, we have a reference signal right now of plus and minus two divisions. This is channel one, plus and minus two divisions, and channel two, plus and minus two divisions. Um, this initial setup is very important to establish that in fact both channels are calibrated identically so that when we combine the channels we can accurately determine if the system is balanced or not. Channel 1, channel 2. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the carrier and attach the oscilloscope probes to each side of the balanced transmission line. And then this will tell us the true condition of the antenna system. Okay, I just moved the other oscilloscope probe to the other unused part of the transmission line that we were not testing. So now since each probe is on one side of the balanced transmission line, we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, we're back in front of the scope. Let's put out a carrier and see what we see. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and start adjusting our signal here so that we can determine what's really going on. Move the position controls so that the sine waves are just kissing the baseline. And now what we can do without moving the calibration knobs is go to a slightly higher voltage setting to drop the signal down within the range of the screen. Okay, now since we're in the range of the screen and we're looking at both channel one and two in the both position, let's go ahead and move this again so it kisses the baseline. Same with this. Okay. Now we're going to adjust our timing a little bit to look at a little bit more. All right. Okay, now since we have that established, let's, uh, let's look at what we did. Remember, we did not move the cald uh, voltage settings here. So this is one side of the transmission line, and this is the other side of the transmission line. We have our voltage in the carrier representing about plus and minus one division on one side and plus and minus one division on the other side of the transmission line. The key uh, performance check for balanced operations in this experiment is really determining whether you have the same voltage on both sides of the transmission line and that each signal is 180 degrees apart from one another. And when they are 180 degrees apart, 
you get basically uh, zero radiant power through the transmission line. The signal goes where it should go, out to the antenna, not radiating uh, and causing problems in the near field. So this is a pretty good experiment just to, to basically look at the entire antenna system. Looks good. The next test, we're actually going to look at the antenna tuner performance. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to hook up a balance line dummy load that I put together here. Uh, this is basically a pair of 470 ohm resistors against ground. And we'll go ahead and hook one side each to the transmission line, do the initial test again, and that's how you can uh, determine whether or not your antenna tuner is truly balanced or if it, if it uh, actually has problems. Okay, now we're ready to actually check the performance of an antenna tuner. I've gone ahead and installed the balance line dummy load. I have both scope probes connected to one side of it. So let's come back to the scope and make sure that both channels are calibrated and then we'll do the experiment to see how well the antenna tuner is actually balanced. Okay, we're back in front of the scope, so let's put out a small carrier and make sure that both channel 1 and channel 2 are in fact reading the same amount of voltage. Okay, we'll move, move this to the center. Let's, uh, let's see a little bit more voltage. We'll go to 2 volts without moving the calibration. Okay, so we're getting Looks like with this amount of carrier, about plus and minus two divisions on channel one. And we'll go to channel two and establish that. Same thing, a good plus and minus two divisions. So let's look at them side by side. Here's channel one, plus and minus two divisions of voltage. Channel two, plus and minus two divisions of voltage. Perfect. So now what we can do is go ahead and move the scope probes so that one is on each side of the balanced transmission line and we'll come back and look at the waveform. The vertical mode has been set to both. Okay, I've gone ahead and moved the other scope probe to the other side of the balanced dummy load. Now let's come back to the scope and see how, how good the antenna tuner is really performing in the balanced mode. Let's put out a carrier and see what we get. Alright, let's go ahead and start changing our timing here so we can see a little bit more of what's going on. Right about there looks good. We'll move our positions here. So that's kissing the baseline. That'll be kissing the baseline. Now we'll go ahead and move these to five volts without touching the calibration knobs. Okay, let's go ahead and move this so it kisses. And here. All right. Move our timing a little so we can see a little bit more. Okay. Not bad. Let's just fine tune the uh, positions here. Okay. So let's see what we're looking at. It looks like this is nearly balanced. Again, we have our voltage with the carrier we're generating to plus and minus one division on one side of the transmission line, plus and minus one division on the other side of the transmission line, and they're nearly 180 degrees out of phase. Um, I am seeing that there's a slight phase shift on one of the channels, and in fact, if we go to the add mode, you'll be able to uh, combine the two channels in phase, and if they were truly 180 degrees out of phase, this would be a straight line. There would be no uh, energy present and you would just see uh, absolutely no voltage. Whether that's possible in the real world, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a good thing to know how to, how to utilize. So again, this is, uh, this is a really good experiment to see how well your antenna tuner is performing 
and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, I'm going to be uh, making additional videos uh, based on a uh, topic that I speak a lot about. Uh, everything from the length of transmission line to use with a given antenna, uh, amplifier linearity, uh, how to uh, use scopes to look at uh, amplifier tuning, peak envelope power, modulation, uh, a lot of real interesting stuff. Thanks. I'm KA0KA.